Hello, I'm Waylon Kenning. Today we're going to be talking about a roadmap towards improving your organization's collaboration for day-to-day -day operations and emergencies. Let's talk about collaboration today within public safety. Within the sector, it's pretty good. Police, fire, ambulance, often have systems that talk to each other or are integrated. But what about when you need to communicate with new agencies, new entities? You need to communicate with the utilities or volunteer organizations. That type of ad hoc collaboration is often very difficult and then you tend to fall back onto manual methods such as whiteboards, radio, phone calls. So let's talk about a real scenario. Wildfires on the state border. When that happens, agencies at the city, state and federal level all need to collaborate and communicate about what's going on and also communicate with utilities, volunteer organizations, and other not-for-profits. Digital collaboration, at its heart, is a tool to share what is going on, often called a common operating picture, to share actions, to see, understand who needs to take action and do what. And it's a tool used to communicate, to talk to each other between different organizations or agencies. So let's talk about a roadmap towards improving digital collaboration. First thing you need to do is identify which agencies you want to collaborate with. Now obviously there's the day-to-day -day agencies, but what about the agencies you don't regularly collaborate with? That could be agencies at different states, could be agencies at the city next door, could be agencies at the federal level. So identify who you want to share with in any sort of scenario. The second thing is to identify what information you want to share. So you have to identify what systems, that information comes from. You have to identify the types of information that's coming in and then for each agency that you want to share with you need to identify what information you want to share in particular with those specific agencies because not all your information you might want to share equally with every organization. The next step is to identify a collaboration tool. In an emergency it might be useful to consider tools that operate in the cloud which can provide greater resilience in case local data centers become impacted. Also look for tools that go beyond read-only dashboards. When emergencies are happening, you really need something that allows people to collaborate and discuss and work out the best course of action. And then tools that allow you to track those actions as well. And finally, work on building and loading joint operating procedures into the tool so that when an emergency does happen, including with agencies you don't normally work with, then there's a little bit of a plan for how to deal with this current um, situation. So in summary, the current state has limitations. The limitations of knowing who to call, interacting with new agencies and whiteboards and radios, just having a hard time scaling and sharing high fidelity information. And this current state limitation has a real big impact on how your organization collaborates with other agencies uh, during day-to-day -day events or in emergencies. We provided you with a quick roadmap to help guide your investment into improving your digital collaboration. And finally, we talked about some key things to look for in a tool, including making sure it's easy to use, it's cloud-ready, and is easy to integrate with your current systems. Thank you.